Hey guys, Jen here. I wanted to share a little tutorial with you for some of the body weight movements that we're going to be doing in our hot on it classes. So watch this little video and then hop into a class. Um, we're going to start off today in um, our knee sit through position. This is a super common uh, body weight movement that we do a lot in class um, that can also be a little bit confusing. So here we go. You're going to start in this crouching position, plant your hands down on the earth, just shoulder width distance apart, and your feet are just underneath your hips. Then you're going to step your left foot down, wrap your right ankle behind your left ankle. Your butt can touch down on the earth, but it's best to keep it hovering down. Maybe you lift your left hand. So right ankle is hooked behind my left ankle. My left hand is lifted, my heart is lifted, my core is engaged. Then we're just going to switch, lower the left palm down, step the right foot down, hook your left ankle behind the right ankle, right hand lifts. My butt is still hovering up off the ground, my heart is still lifting, my core is engaged. So it's really a twist through your core, step your left foot down, your right ankle hooks behind, left hand lifts, heart lifts. Core lifts your hips as you stay low. Your feet stay close to your hands. Don't let your feet start to walk back here. Keep your feet underneath your hips. Step your right foot down, left ankle lifts, right hand lifts. So it looks like this when we start to move. Okay, most important thing that you keep your feet close to your hands, don't let them walk back here. And then that ankle is just hooking around the back of the opposite ankle, opposite hand lifts, using your core to twist. It's really gonna activate your core, your shoulders, and your quads. All right, so that's the knee sit through. Next we're gonna do um, the kick through and the side kick through. So both of these start in our loaded beast position, okay? So our loaded beast starts back like this. So you press into your hands like downward facing dog, then you bend your knees, sink your butt back towards your heels. You're pressing your weight back into your toes, pressing your hands back. Then you're gonna step your left foot outside of your left hand, then kick your right leg forward. Step back. Come back to that loaded beast. Step your right foot outside of your right hand. Kick your left foot forward. Step back. Loaded beast. Left foot steps. Low lunge. Kick your leg forward. Maybe your left hand lifts. Press back. Loaded beast. Hips are sinking back and down towards my heels. So this is what it looks like when you start to move. Really extend through that leg as it reaches forward, then press back. Extend, press back, extend, press back. Okay? So that is the front kick through. Now we're going to do it towards the side. So it's kind of a combination between the knee sit through and the kick through. So I'll do it this way so you can see. We start back in that loaded beast position. You step your left foot down, kick your right leg out to the side. My left foot is flat on the ground, my left hand lifts. Step my right foot down, kick my left foot out, pick my right hand up. Keep your hip and your leg hovering up off the mat. Come back to that crouching beast position, left foot steps, right foot kicks, lift your left hand up. Then you start to move, switching. Kicking from side to side, keep lifting up through my heart, extending long and straight through my leg as my hip hovers up off the mat. Okay, so that's your knee sit through, your kick through, and your side kick through. So now when you go to class, you can fully engage all of those exercises. Have so much fun. See you in class.